Hey, you all, and Merry Christmas. Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the north. More specifically, we are in Valparaiso, Indiana, the town I grew up in. And I wanted to come out here today to see Santa Claus. We're here at, uh, this is called Foundation Meadows Park. Now, as I was growing up, this Santa was actually in the downtown Main Street area. I would be so excited as a kid, uh, knowing Christmas was coming and knowing that Santa would be appearing in the downtown area. I always knew Christmas. Christmas time was here when, uh, when Santa would show up in, uh, in downtown Valparaiso. They also used to put three wise men on top of the bank. They don't do that anymore. They stopped uh, putting the wise men on the bank and um, they moved Santa at some point. No longer would he pop up on the Main Street area. He's here kind of kind of out in just a random area. This uh, a fairly busy street here, but they're not the heart of uh, Valparaiso. I don't know, I don't know exactly when they started putting him over here. I don't know why they started putting him over here, but uh, it's one of my, uh, one of my, uh, one of my many good childhood memories here. In my adult life, I travel the United States looking for giant fiberglass statues. This probably was the first giant fiberglass statue I was exposed to. And uh, it was seasonal, they'd, they'd, they'd move him. And as you see, he's strapped down. He's got all these uh, metal cables connected to him. See, there's two hooked to his beard. I remember that actually was a problem. I remember that he had uh, that he had fallen down several times, but uh, he's got his feet planted on this uh, on this concrete pad, and then those metal guide wires keep him pitched like a tent so that he uh, does not fall over. And I've seen. Um, you know, as my through my travels, I have seen, I think, copies of this statue. I don't think this is completely unique. In fact, I saw one very similar at uh, Six Flags Over Georgia this year. But uh, I'm happy. I'm happy he's still here. I wish they would go. I wish they would, they would move him back uh, downtown to Main Street because that's how I uh, remember seeing him. But uh, still happy to be able to come out here and see Santa. And I know a lot of you probably aren't gonna even be watching this video. I know Christmas is a time to spend with family. People have things planned. People have uh, things they do and go out. Don't necessarily have time to watch a whole lot of YouTube. So if you are taking the time to watch this uh, on Christmas, I do appreciate it. It does, it does mean a lot to me. It always means a lot to me that people take any time out of any day to, uh, to take in these videos. Um, but I, I guess technically I have uh, I've completed Vlogmas this year. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention I was doing Vlogmas. I think I did Vlogmas. I know uh, a lot of times YouTubers will do a Vlogmas where it's a, they, they do like, they upload every day from the 1st of December through Christmas. And I wanted to do that. I decided, I don't know, but I didn't want to make a weird to do about it. I didn't say it was Vlogmas because I don't know. I just, I don't know. So I, I was afraid if I didn't, if I, if I had to miss a day, then I would fail at Vlogmas. But uh, I was keeping it, keeping doing a secret Vlogmas. And actually, I don't know if it counts 100% as Vlogmas, because not all my content was Christmas related. I don't know if all Christmas content has to be, uh, all Vlogmas content has to be Christmas related. Because I did kind of a mixture of Christmas and non-Christmas things, and some Christmas events at uh, at theme parks, some standalone Christmas events, but um, but we did some other stuff as well. I think people people enjoy holidays. I think people like uh, to see other things as well. I know sometimes during Halloween, I think people get a little burned out when I uh, upload Halloween videos from uh, the end of July all the way through the end of October. So I, I try to sprinkle in stuff that's not necessarily attached to a season. But I love Christmas. I love Halloween. You know, now that these days, I consider myself probably more of a Halloween guy 
I, I look really, I really look forward to the Halloween season, the, the different celebrations, the different haunted events. But growing up, it was all about Christmas. Like Christmas, not only my favorite time of year, but just probably my favorite thing in the world. I remember waiting all year for Christmas, uh, just being, uh, being, being super excited to, uh, to make it, out, to make it out to uh, my my grandmother's. Um, my grandma every year she she throws a family Christmas party in her basement. Her basement she has a you know a bar that they they built when they built their house. There's shuffleboard, darts, pool table. Uh, the, there's a, pin, a Superman pinball machine that doesn't work anymore, but it used to work when I was a kid. Some air hockey as well, like my grandma's uh, basement, totally set up as like a playground. We would, uh, of course, play in it all year round, but it was a special Christmas Eve. And we're gonna be going tonight to visit uh, my grandma, visit the family. And you know, it was just the one day of the year that the entire family was together of course you know because it's christmas it's magical back when i was a kid sometimes it would snow it doesn't seem to snow as much these uh these years but um yeah i remember opening opening presents from family you have that excited anticipation of the next day that santa's gonna come and leave presents just a good feeling spend time all this time with family you get presents from family then uh, then you go home you're worn out from a great night of uh, spending time with family and then you wake up the next morning and it's Christmas morning. And I, my Christmas too, it went on even longer. My parents were divorced. So I woke up Christmas morning, got my Christmas presents at my mom's and then uh, my dad would pick me up, take me back to Milwaukee and I would have a uh, second Christmas. So it was really, you know, almost like, almost like three Christmases. Christmas Eve with my grandmother, Christmas morning with my mom and uh, and Christmas night with my dad. Of course, there was always had to, remember a lot of times traveling on Christmas. My dad lived three hours away. So a lot of times we'd be in the car for three hours on Christmas day. So the excitement of opening up Christmas presents in the morning, the doldrums of being in the car for three hours, and then back to Christmas as we arrive and open up uh, my Christmas presents in the evening. And uh, I don't know, I mean, that, that drive, I've had that drive many times between uh, Valparaiso, Indiana, and Milwaukee, Wisconsin, my parents being divorced. I think that kind of primed me for being able to travel uh, like I do these days. I think that was kind of my introduction to, uh, to travel. And uh, yeah, good memories, good memories of, uh, of Christmas. I'm happy to be, I always, always like to come up and uh, visit my mom. I've not always been able to. I've not made it every year. Um, you know, sometimes it was hard to get up here. Um, you know, over the past, past so many years, you know, as an adult, you get busy, you get children of your own, it gets hard to uh, travel, but I'm glad to be here. I appreciate every, uh, every time I'm able to come up and spend time with my mom, with my mom's family. You know, as you get older, you realize you realize these things don't last forever. As a kid, it just seems like things will be exactly the same. And as an adult, you gotta appreciate every every year. You know, really everyone should appreciate every year, every chance you get to spend with family, every chance you get to, um, to be around those that you love and care about because, you know, there's there's no certainty, there's no tomorrow. Um, it's been a rough, it's been a rough couple years um, for my family. A lot of challenges, a lot of challenges. Um, my um, my stepdad has been uh, in a very intense battle with cancer um, over the past two years. Um, one of the, you know, and, he, and he's fought it like an absolute champ. Um, he's had lots of obstacles put in front of him, and he and he's beat every single one. And it's it's been a roller coaster of uh, of him beating these challenges, and then these new challenges. Uh, popping up in front of him, but he's been, he's been knocking him out of the park. My mom also had some, uh, some similar health scares. And uh, that's why, yeah, you know, hug the ones, hug the ones you love, um, appreciate everyone and um, appreciate each other. It's, uh, you know, none of us are invincible. I had my, my uh, health scare earlier this year. Yeah, I, I avoided going to the doctor for, probably two to three years and um, 
realized that was a mistake when I went to my doctor and I wasn't doing so good. Things are looking good with my health. I want you guys to know that, that I, I, I do take it serious. I've made uh, some serious changes this year on how I, um, how I take care of myself. It's not perfect, but I'm doing good. Um, I've been able to stick with it since, I think June. I think June is when I um, finally uh, started uh, treating myself better, treating my, uh, my body better. This year's been crazy. This year's been crazy from uh, the beginning of the year just all the way through. This was the year that um, started out the year with my Choose My Adventure road trip. Of course, that led to uh, constant car trouble. I had my car, uh, the, the supercharger blew out of my car in Cincinnati, got it fixed, then got into a car accident the exact same day. Fortunately, not my not my fault, but it did lead to my car being in the shop for four and a half months. So spent the better part of the year in, uh, in rental cars. Um, and then of course this was the year I got my home back. I got my house back. Um, my, um, I purchased my, my ex-wife, I purchased her part, her equity in the house and um, moving back in. Got, you know, we're living at home, me and Jen living there. Um, we've got uh, got our stuff, the livable stuff unpacked. We got our living room, our kitchen, our bathrooms, our bedrooms, we can use them. Of course, we got a lot of other stuff still in boxes that needs to be gone through. I'm in the process of wanting to remodel my bunker and that's been stressful, just you know, trying to figure out what I wanna do with that. But we'll all, uh, all be looking forward to that with uh with the new year um i am planning on doing the choose my adventure road trip again i hope uh this year things go a little bit smoother uh if you guys want to stay tuned and, and what that is for those you're not familiar i um i put out a poll every two days and um, you guys get to choose what city i go to so i'll drive to a city i'll spend one day in that city doing things in that city you guys will vote what city i go to next I'll film my adventures as I travel to that city, have some adventures in that city, you guys vote on the next city, and so on and so forth. We'll be doing that. Um, hopefully, hopefully it'll go smooth enough where we can, uh, we can do that and uh, things will go relatively smooth. But I don't know, sometimes when things go wrong, I, I think that you know adds a little bit of adventure to things. I think you guys appreciate, <laughs> appreciate the adventure as, um, you know, it wouldn't be exciting if there wasn't some obstacles in the way. Um, I do plan, I'll let you guys know, I do plan on taking uh, a little time off. Um, not too long, I think beginning of January. Um, I'm probably going to take a week off. Things slow down on YouTube really harshly in the first week of January. So I figure if I'm going to take some time off, that's a good week to take it. To start the, start the year off with some rest. Um, spend some time with Jen, um, relaxing, and then from that point, you know, we'll start the year off with a bang when I do my uh, Choose My Adventure road trip. And then uh, lots of fun stuff coming up this year. Um, you know, I'm, I'm still moving in the house. I do think, let's talk about the, 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 the more distant future. I've kind of made the decision I'm not going to try yet to get to Alaska and Hawaii. That's kind of my big bucket list item right now is getting to Alaska and Hawaii um, but with moving into the new house getting adjusted I figured this year um, I just don't want to start building into big complicated expensive plans so I'm aiming maybe 2025 for uh, taking the Alaska and Hawaii trips maybe do them in the same year maybe do one of them in 2025 maybe do another in 2026 who knows if I'll still be alive there's no certainty, we don't know, um, but that's kind of my thoughts on that. But um, some, some, some ideas, some fun stuff I wanna do um, in, uh, in 2024. Some adventures I wanna go on that I've not done before. And um, I'm kind of working, you know, since this channel's begun, I've kind of never really settled on an upload schedule, like how, how I wanna do things. Um, with the first, when I first started this channel, when I had limited time to get out there and film, 
Sometimes I'd film two, three videos in a day. Actually, we've just been to Branson. One time I filmed seven videos in one day in Branson because I had very limited time to get out there and travel. Um, now I really like to do only one video a day if possible to go out there and film because I really like to just put my focus and, and, and not be rushed and kind of be able to make that, that the day into one video. Um, but if I do that, it makes it very difficult, very difficult um, to ever be home. Um, and I do want to be able to to have a home life, to have a, a home life with Jen. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna work on things. And actually, leave a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you guys would like to see. Would you like to see me like upload every day while traveling, and then take like a week off or a week or two off when I'm home? So basically, I'm uploading chronologically. I'll film during the day, upload at night, but then when I'm home, I'm just home and I'm not necessarily gonna put out a video every day. Or would you guys rather me stagger it a little bit? Maybe try to still put out a video maybe every other day? Even if I have to like stockpile videos, I don't know. I, th I feel like you guys like the fresh videos. This is something about a video, something about a video film that day and upload the next day, I think that people, people appreciate. So, uh, I don't know. And like I said, I've never really settled 100% on an upload schedule. Sometimes I'll go through periods, I think I went a period of eight months where I uploaded a video every day. Of course, I was stockpiling videos. Um, you know, I love going on the road trips and uploading every day. I think that's fun. You know, the Choose My Adventure will be uploaded every day. Let me know your thoughts. What do you guys like? Um, do you like, and leave, you know, let me know what else you like. Do you like standalone videos where I go to one attraction and film that? Or do you like, you know, more mishmash mix-up videos where I film a bunch of stuff in one day. Just let me know. Let me know what you guys like. I do care. I do read I do read every comment. I go out of my way to try to read every comment. I don't have the ability to be able to re return every comment, to reply to every comment as much as I would like. Um I remember I remember I used to I used to reply to every comment back back in the day when the channel got started I was so excited that anyone cared so I would uh, I would give long thank yous and and, 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 and appreciate everyone and my my ex-wife said she would hate to see if I ever won an Oscar because she would hate to see how long my spe my uh, my acceptance speech would be because I would was so grateful and would thank so thank them so much for for replying and I wish I could still do that if there was infinite time in the day I would respond to every single comment but if I responded to every single comment then sadly I wouldn't have time to make videos so it's a catch a catch 22 um, thank you guys thank you Christmas is a time to reflect Christmas is a time to think about um, the fortunes you've had. And I'm I'm incredibly lucky because I get to do um, what I love. I get to, I've got a chance to follow my dreams. Um, I've been lucky enough to be able to do that and I know not, not everyone um, necessarily gets that. So um, it means a lot to me that you guys watch these videos and allow me to do that. In some ways, it's like each one of you are my Santas. And every view, every subscription, every comment, every super chat, every Patreon subscription, every cameo, every pin order is, is, is a present to me. And uh, but the greatest present of all is that all those things allow me to make these videos to be able to, to, to be out there and uh, being able to challenge what I'm passionate about and share that with the world. Because without those views, without those subscriptions, without all those other things, I simply uh, would not have the option to do that. I also had um, an opportunity to see some people I haven't seen in a long time. I saw my friend Morty the other day. I got a chance to hang out with uh, Boogie and Desi and and I know some of you, some of you have varying opinions on Boogie and Boogie is a, is a larger than life personality. He's, uh, he's done some wild things on the internet, but, um, and you, you can love him, you can hate him, but um, ever since I met Boogie, he's been nothing but kind to me. He is, um, when I was going through 
my divorce. He was one of the people that would really just listen and um, give me his honest opinion. You know, it's it's, it's been a, it's been a, he's been a great friend. He's been a great friend, and I don't agree with everything he does. I don't agree with anything. I don't agree with everything anyone does, but um, I judge people on how they treat me, and um, Boogie's always been there for me. He's always been someone, um, to me, Boogie's the kind of uh, person that would uh, give you the shirt off his back if you ask for it, and, um, and uh, he loves to entertain people. He has an interesting way of entertaining people, but um, that's his business. I don't always, I'm not always entertained by the things Boogie does, but um, that doesn't make me love him any less. And um, I think, uh, I think the world, the world could use, could, could use an opportunity to chill out a little bit. Um, I think uh, this world, we see things, we see things in black and white. We see everyone is as good or bad and, and I, don't, I don't necessarily see it that way. I see, um, I see everyone as being very complicated and uh, people do complicated things. People make mistakes. I've done complicated things. I've made some mistakes. I've made so many mistakes and so many things that um, I would say that I wish I could change but all my mistakes led me to exactly where I'm at now, and um, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else, I don't think. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, mistakes are mistakes, but uh, they lead us to where we're at. And um, hopefully I get to see, I've been, you know, it's really, this, this, this year, it's exciting to me, the, the 2024, because um, like I said, I've, I've, I've been traveling Two years on the road, you know, when I, when I, when I, it was, it was December of 2021 that, um, me and my ex-wife, we separated and I made the decision instead of getting a new place, instead of getting an apartment, I was going to travel and finally to a point where I'm back in my home, um, Jen is there with me, um, I have the opportunity to have a normal life and to travel. You know, I'm not always good with balance, but I'm gonna try to strike a balance. This year will be uh, be interesting in in figuring out how uh, how we're gonna how we're gonna get things balanced out. Hopefully, I'm, I'm hoping. I was talking about good friends. I was hoping that um, that um, I could see some friends I haven't seen. I I feel like I have friends all over the country. Um, it's hard for me to see all the people I love, all the people I care about, but um, I'd love to uh, love to, to get back in contact. I feel like COVID was difficult. I feel like I lost contact with a lot of people because you weren't supposed to hang out. And then after getting on the road and traveling so much, it was really hard to keep up with everyone. And and uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just, but a lot of friends out there, you know, you can go two, three years without seeing them and and you can uh, get back together, and it's like it's like no time has passed at all. So I'm, I'm hoping to. Uh, I think that I don't. I know this isn't New Year's, but I think one of my uh, one of my hopes is to rekindle some friendships that um, are not lost, but have maybe drifted a little ways apart. Uh, yeah, not New Year's, but I don't know. I see Christmas as kind of Christmas is kind of the uh, the grand finale of the year. New Year's. New Year's is technically the end of it, but uh, everything builds up to Christmas. We chill out, and then we say goodbye to uh, to the year on New Year's Day. But um, thank you guys so much. I'm gonna go uh, spend some time with my family, but I did want to run out here and say hello to you guys on Christmas again. The, in the internet can be a quiet place. So, it's okay. It's okay if you skip this video. I don't mind. <laughs> I don't mind if you skip any videos. But, um, if you had some time, some quiet time, 
that you wanted to zone out. I'm, I'm, I wanted to make a video just to say hello, just to say Merry Christmas, and to just give a few thoughts. But um, I love you guys. I appreciate, again, thank you for letting me be me. And um, until next time, this one's in the bag.